Hello, welcome back to Icewind Dale as we continue our little adventure here. So we just, in the last episode, we found this ring that was kind of suspicious. And so now we're going to go and talk to Aldwin about it. Very well. Oh, it's you again. What do you want this time? I found a ring in one of the upper rooms you might be interested in. Eh? What? This ring has an inscription on the inside that looks like the real claim to this inn. Why would you be the owner when this claim says different? Oh, so now you've stooped to forcing your way into locked containers in people's houses, have you? Before you accuse me of doing anything wrong, maybe you should look to yourself. What are you doing breaking and entering? Oh, so you knew it was locked upstairs. Uh, no, no. I didn't know it was locked upstairs. Look, I don't have to explain it. You're right. I will take Aiden's ring to the elders of the town and let them decide how to deal with this. Perhaps they could call in Aiden's shade with the ring and speak to him about this. Justice must be served. Look, hold on, hold on. Here's what happened. First off, I never laid a hand on Aiden. So, Aiden, Eden, I don't know. Eden is dead? Well, yeah, but it's not my fault. I came into the inn one night after barely making my way through Koldahar Pass, see? And there he is, lying on the floor of the inn, cold as a stone. Now, I'd been through the pass before, even talked with the old fool a bit, and I knew he didn't have any family. What did you do with the body? There had been rumors of people missing, so I buried the body outside of town, and then... Well, I dug up some pen and ink and set up the claim. Granted, I stripped him of his belongings, and I should have thrown away that darn ring. But look, I'm not doing any harm. He didn't have any family, and this town needs an inn. So why'd you do it? Probably won't be able to sell this place, you know. The storm season closes off the caravan routes too often to turn any profit. I know, it isn't that... I don't know. I'm sick of traveling, and I suddenly got the urge to settle. Blame the halfling in me, I suppose. At least I didn't try to plant myself in some glorified mole burrow and smoke a stinkweed pipe until I die of boredom. Let's see. Uh, we can say use this to get leverage on him. About the cheap place for the night. Hmm. I mean, we're not necessarily lawfully good, so I don't know, but it, this seems like the right thing to do. We're mostly neutral good, some chaotic neutral, I don't know. We're, we're going to go with this one. Well, it's good you didn't hurt Eden. Eden, you shouldn't have hid the body and falsified the claim. There are people here that probably knew him and cared for him, and they would have liked to have paid their respects. Besides, as Eden's ring states, the end belongs to Koldahar, not you. What you did was wrong. So I think we'll go with this because, you know, as a as tribal members, we would want the same to happen if a member of our tribe was in this kind of a situation, you know, found dead and somebody coming in and trying to take their place. Yeah, well, before you start getting any more preachy on me, it seems that you need to stop your habit of breaking and entering. That stinks of a thief, and by my reckoning, that puts us at about the same level. Fair enough. Nonetheless, I want to speak to the town elders and let them know what you've done. If you don't, I will speak. Oh, I want you to speak to the town elders and let them know what you've done. If you don't, I will speak to them, and it will be worse for you in the long run. I, hmm, look, maybe we, I mean, what's to keep me from getting out of town? Well, you won't get far. An avalanche is sealed off the pass, and plus there are raiders scouring the mountains. Just confess to the elders. All right, all right, darn it. I'll go talk to them. Now stop bothering me. Okay, well, we gain 
Three thousand three thousand two hundred twenty five experience points for that. Good. Now I'm looking for a room. Can you help me? I don't know. Am I really looking for a room? Yeah. We're gonna take the cheap one. So that now has two memorized spells. Um, okay. Done. this in here. We're going to go sell that. All right. Whatever you say. That music was like really loud. It sounds are really loud. It doesn't seem like I can adjust. Well, maybe they're just loud in my headset, but it doesn't seem like I can adjust the sound at all. I've tried doing that, and, and I don't know. It just doesn't seem to ever diminish. I mean, I can turn my volume up and down, but I don't know if this the sound as loud, loud as it is is like overriding my voice or not or too loud on the screen i have no idea let's see we're, is this just yeah we left it out All right We have no, we didn't have that. Okay. Now we're going to go back over here. Very well. Finish clearing out this canyon. Pass. Unreachable. Eight hours travel time. Put our. I may not make everyone happy, but I'll keep us alive. Our warlord back in charge. All right. Okay, everybody but him. Fire. God's grant me strength. Time to trim this one down to size. Here I go. All right. Ready. Oh, that's a big fella. Whatever you say. Me will smash your face. Okay. Head hurt. Why you make Garrig's head hurt? Skinny people. Your head? I'm not doing anything to make your head hurt. Why it hurt then? Why? Why? Ooh, Garrick want to pound a head through walls, make pain go away. So 
We met an ogre in a tower and called our pass. His name is Garrig and his head, head hurt badly. He said he wanted to pound his head against the okay. Yeah, I think that's an excellent idea. Hit it as hard as you can. Garrick, gather the red and purple frost berries that grow near hot springs. Mash them into a paste and eat them with boiled tundra grasses. That will make your head stop hurting. The remedy actually only works for ogres. That fix head? I give thanks. I go make head better now. Alright. We gained 1,200 experience for that. And we caused him to leave the pass without causing any further damage. Good luck, Garrick. Wow, everybody leveled up off that. Okay. He gets one additional proficiency uh, slot and all this stuff here. So, this is Rael Leaf. He's got one in axe, one in longbow, and sword and steel shield style. Uh, I would prefer to. I could change this from longbow over to crossbow, but if we do specialized slots, character receives plus one to hit, plus two to damage, and for warriors only, an extra one half attack per round with the selected weapon. If we do this, oh, we can't, uh, we can't change that anymore. So let's do that. And same kind of things. Now he also has, okay, can increase the style. So we'll do long sword. Okay, so this is this is his fighter that's leveling up. And she gets an additional level two spell. Okay. Oh, we didn't save any, we didn't learn any spells when we slept. No alignment. I think, again, the most important thing at this low level is just heal spells. Okay, I'm going to update my paper notes. Be right back. Understood. Right. Let's move Understood. on. Let's see what's over here. I like the throwing axe option on him as opposed to the bow because it, he gets to keep his shield while throwing axes. There are archers, archer, archers. Okay. Try to keep this short. Here I come, and the hell's come to whispering to strength to victory. Are you ready for me? Here. Well, how can I help? We'll go ahead and have him do that. God, comes for you. Okay, back to we'll do a bow. 
Orders? Let's spill some blood. I'll try to keep this short. Let's spill some blood. They're not going anywhere. To the butcher's work, then. Understood. Ready. I Your can do that with my eyes. Forfeit. I'm listening. Ready. Understood. Uh -huh. Just going to move with my eyes. slowly through here. Keep moving him up so they're all within song range. Here. Done. So obviously they were. What's it to be? Here I go. Fighting these beetles. Understood. Let's scout. Is that what we want? There's a cave over here. Okay, everything up there has been cleared. Orders? Okay, now we get to fight the beetles. So immediately ch change that. You can change that. Okay, I'm a little bit afraid that he's gonna he's a, gonna be attacked. Let's spill some blood. Okay, so they're not going to attack me if I don't attack them. Consider so it done. Withdraw, and you attack them. And you attack them. And the hells come with me. Change to your ranged weapon. Death and comes for fire. you. Fire. Victory. I'm here. Is there anything in here to pick up? There is. Watch this. Got it. Ooh, some kind of magic arrows. Back to your ranged weapons. Agreed. Pick up all this stuff.
I'm off. I'm on it. Give the word. Watch this. Oh, we can do this. I don't know what I did. What is this? Oh. Well, that's, that is way more convenient. I didn't know you could do that. I'm on it. All right, well, we cleared out that little hidey hole All of right. a bunch of goblins causing problems in the passes. A bunch of raiders. They'll be raiding no more. What are you two slow pokes on about? Okay. Now let's check to see what what is our in our inventory. Okay. Give that to him and see if he can identify those. Replenish ammo. And none of these are like special weapons at all. Arrow plus one. The flight arrow, as its name implies, is built for distance. Okay. So plus one, that's just describing an arrow. Plus one to hit armor class zero. So we do damage one, die six plus one. We'll probably leave that with him. He has 32 bullets left. Okay. I mean, I, I think we are like getting to be over. We're going to be over encumbered, not over encumbered, but we're going to have no room for anything else all right. with all the arrows that we're getting. All right, we want to come up here sell all this stuff. I'll cut out this walking time. Oh. Watch my back. Gonna put her back in charge. Whatever you say. Okay, I like to purchase some weapons. And we walked right past the gym spot, didn't we? Where we could sell the gym. It's only 17 gold, so maybe we'll let that slide. What we want is this. We're gonna give that, oh, can't do anything with it yet. We'll give this to our barn. And then we'll put all these items in there. Let's buy some more bullets.
I don't know how much this would carry. This shoulder belt is ideally suited for holding sling, bullets, darts, arrows, or bolts. Okay. I think we're done with all that. Let's go ahead and move our stone here. Whatever you say. Let's come over right. here, spend the night. Okay, I'll, I'll cut this travel time. you again what do you want this time I'm looking for a room any or any free yeah of course we got space for such fine upstanding travelers such as yourself by the way I talked it over with the other folks in town like you asked and they're willing to let the whole Eden thing slide as long as I take a percentage out of my profits to help the town darn warm-blooded vampires good I like to rest then So now she has all those. Okay, so now we're going to move on to going to the Veil of Shadows. Again, I'll cut this travel time here. Oh, thought that was the edge of the map. All right, let's put our warlord in I charge. Make everyone happy, but I'll keep All right. Bell of Shadows. Done. Eight hour travel time. Which means we're starting out tired already. Holy moly. Let's put you back on axes. Got and it. Go forth. Vision wise, I, I think we're okay. That we're not gonna, you know, get activate a monster down here or something or a creature, or whatever. That would then cause us to get I'll handle it. hit from the side and the front. But oh, okay, saw that. Forward. Here I come, and the hells come with me. Your life is <laughs> right. Forward. Got it. shadows oh well we got a lot of stuff going on here Let's see what all right no I can I not like see what Require is required there. Okay, stop. Isn't there like a stop action? All right. Yes. It shall be done. 
Now, she has a turn undead. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Let's you shoot and you shoot. They're not going anywhere. Nice. Nice. Okay, you need to come over here. Because this guy's going to come walking over here, I believe. So let's take this guy down. I'll take care. Yeah, let's see. Do undead. All right, quite a few of them got turned there. Nice. Okay, you can take on this guy. Take on that guy. To victory. Nice. Everybody back to their yeah. ranged weapons. Your butcher's work forfeit. Friend. I'm on it. What do you want? Yeah, quit turning undead. We want him to come back now. Ready. I'll try to keep this short. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I think he needs to take his armor off. If he's going to spot traps, right? Because of silliness. All right. So instead, we'll put this on him. Give this to our strong guy here. And what is this? Luck. Effect one creature. The recipient of the spell gains extraordinary luck for the next three rounds. Receiving a plus one bonus to her saving throws, attack rolls, and minimum damage slash healing rolls, as well as plus 5% to all thieving skills. Furthermore, damage dice for all effects outside a weapon's base damage is reduced by one. For example, a 6 die 6 fireball would do 6 die 5 damage, and a flaming longsword that deals 1 die 8 plus 2 slashing plus 1 d3 damage will deal 1 die 8 plus 2 slashing plus 1 die 2 fire damage instead. So again, does that mean that it reduces our, our effects? Or is this like reduces the effects that other creatures, weapons, and stuff have on us. I, I don't know. It's not very clear. Not very clear to me, anyway. Well, we'll give that to her. This, she's the only one who can use it. Or him, I mean. Potion of Agility. This potion will raise the dexterity of the imbiber to 18, affecting armor class and missile attack adjustment for the duration of the effect. In this case... 15 turns. Put that in a potion bag. Antidote. As the name implies, this potion appears to neutralize any potion of which the imbiber is currently suffering the effects. The cleansing is instant, and the potion may only be used once. Although the color seems strange somehow, which I think means that it has a negative effect as well. But speaking of this, we should... Move these to the backpack. Give one of them to him. Okay. Oh, you can stack them in here? I didn't know that either. One him. 
I thought they would only be able to carry three potions total, but I didn't know they stacked. Okay, learning all kinds of new things today. So now, if we, if he has an, now his thieving skills are not disabled. Okay. Oh, one of those was a high quality long sword. So we're going to give that to him. And we're going to replace his current low quality long sword with the high quality one. Because then that's a plus one to hit. Again, I don't know if that means that it counts as a uh, magic weapon. Ready. Hey, hid in the shadows. What do you know? Aha. Agreed. Right. Understood. Oh, shoot. Shuckins, stop. Here I go. And start singing. You stop going places. Sure. Here. Agreed. Don't know what this thing does. So, uh, you two, well, okay, I'll, you four start shooting at him. All right. Now, at this thing. Oh, yeah, he's out of ammo. So, let's pause. And he, what's his status? Held. I think that lasts for a little while, yeah. This table see, appears to have been used for sacrifices. A human skeleton is draped across it. Fine, fine. All right, now he's no longer held. Speak your mind. I'm on it. Take a shot. Draw. Take a shot. I can do that with my eyes closed. I was gonna say, why is he not under the influence of the song? Sure. I'm inching up here, well, not to kite these guys, but to check for traps. Uh -huh. All right, can we be done, done with all, the, all these guys? I think I have to like stand around for a little while for him to potentially spot any traps. 
There's nothing up here otherwise. All right. Good. Ready. Here I go. Traps. Guess we just have to invest more in trap it. finding. No, you, you, no, no, stay back here. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Ay, ay, ay. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. Didn't spot a trap. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. But at least he didn't get hit by whatever that is. A stinking cloud. So good, he's saved for his death. I thought I had invested in quite a bit of trap detection. So it's one of my highest, find traps 40. But yet he can't seem to find a single trap. Way to go with the AL. Way to be a loser. Got it. Anything else in here? No. Good. Probably should wait till this thing goes away. And then, you know, we can make sure there's nothing else over here. Okay, yeah, we can see everything. All right. Orders? I'll handle it. All right, well, that's all the time we have left for this episode. We've cleared this little tomb here, and it looks like, yes, the dead were rising from the graves. From their graves, so... We'll have to figure out what that's about. But hopefully you enjoyed that. And until next time. Um, oh, we should have read these. This niche holds a stone statue of a robed figure. It is in remarkably good condition compared to the rest of the crypt. Didn't read all the stuff that we could. 
This opening is chalked with the bow choked with the bones of the dead. They appear to be human bones. And same there. Okay. So like I was saying, hopefully you enjoyed that and you'll come back to join us when we continue. And until next time, have an incredibly great day. <laughs>